let's say that this is the afferent nerve. The signal is being transported to the central nervous system. The question is, what created the signal? There are many types of receptors that take the stimulus from the outside world and create the signal. One of those are the Meissner corpuscles. They are created out of layers of cells. They are approximately one millimeter long and they are to be found right beneath the skin. They take the light touches and pressure and transform it into signal. They also have the connective tissue capsule. As I said, they are approximately one millimeter long. There are also the collagen fibers that connect its capsule with the environment and other cells. They are responsible for passing the touch from other cells onto the Meissner corpuscle. Now this over here, what I drawn, is the axon. It takes the signal all the way through the peripheral nerve to the spinal ganglion and then to the spinal cord. In its definition, the neurite can never transport the signal towards the cell body because cell body is here in the spinal ganglion. So according to its function, it's a dendrite, not an axon. Another group of receptors are the Pacinian corpuscles. They are located in the subcutis. If we make a cross section of Pacinian corpuscle, it would look something like this. Because they are located in the subcutis, they receive vibrations and not the light touches like the Meissner corpuscles do. There are also heat and cold receptors. The heat receptors are called the Ruffini corpuscles. They have the net out of nerve fibers with the capsule around it. The cold receptors are called the end bulbs of Krauss and they look something like this. And around. This was a lesson about the receptors. Thank you for watching and check out my website flashbrainanatomy.com.